Welcome to another Financially Fabulous episode. I'm Lee Moore, and while I'm not a financial planner, I'll show you what I've learned. In today's episode, I'll be talking about having a roommate. Come on, this will be fabulous. So you know that I always talk about having multiple streams of income and I've had a couple of smart ladies reach out to me lately and say, what about having a roommate? Is that a good idea? Is that something that's financially fabulous? Well, the answer is it depends. First thing I want you to think about when you're thinking about being financially fabulous is feeling fabulous. You want to feel great about your life. You want to feel great about your finances. And if the idea of having a roommate who's like creepy or has different kinds of lifestyle habits to you and having someone else in your personal space, if that makes you feel sad, miserable, or all around disgusted, let me stop right here and say having a roommate is not a good idea. But that doesn't mean that having a roommate is always a bad idea. It can actually be amazing, especially if you're someone who doesn't really like to spend a lot of time on your own and you find someone that you actually really like. A roommate can be a great idea. Now, I want to be careful in explaining what I mean when I say roommate. And this is the question that I've gotten is, should I buy a place? Should I buy a condo or a small house, a townhouse? And just because it's a little bit hard for me to afford the monthly payments, should I bring somebody else to live with me? So I'm not talking about should you co live in a place in a, you know, where you're both renting. That's a bit of a different story and feels a little bit more temporary. But the question really is, should you buy a place that's maybe a little bit tough to afford, but then have a roommate and have that person come in and live with you. If that's the case, what I really recommend is that you don't even buy a place or not a place that you're going to live in. Anyways, I recommend that the first property that you purchase is an investment property and you can keep renting on your own and have the flexible lifestyle. That's a little bit less expensive. I'll link up the video below that I did about buying an investment property before your first property. So let's assume that you do decide that you want to have a roommate, someone who is going to be living with you. There's a couple things that you need to consider. The first one is, do you have the same expectations of cleanliness? That's huge. Are you the kind of person who's always cleaning up after everything that you do? What if you've got someone who's like a big slob, right? What if they're making a huge disaster? If you have a roommate, you want to make sure that you have the same expectations of cleanliness. You want to make sure that if you've got a roommate, you're either working and living the same kinds of hours or the complete opposite hours. Because if you're the kind of gal who likes to go to bed early and you tuck in around nine o'clock and that's when your roommate has all their friends over for movie nights and drinking games and all that good stuff. Well, that's going to have a huge impact on your lifestyle. You could either have someone who's got the same hours as you or somebody who works the opposite hours and that you have your own space separately. You want to decide whether your roommate is going to be someone who is going to be your good friend, someone you're going to cook with, someone you're going to watch TV shows with, or if it's somebody that you want to have a lot of space and boundaries from someone where you, you know, each spend time mostly in your separate bedrooms with the door closed and just a little bit of time in the shared place. Is it going to be someone who you really like or someone that's just going to pay the rent on a monthly basis? Now, if you've also, if you've already taken all of these into consideration and you know, you want to have a roommate, you want to start taking a look and see what is market rent for the one bedroom or the shared space that you have offering. You want to take a look and understand how much people are charging. And then you can go out ahead and put your own ads. If you are going to have someone who's going to be a roommate with you, make sure that you sign all of the proper contracts and paperwork because you may not realize it, but you're actually entering into a landlord tenant situation and you have to make sure that you're compliant with the landlord tenancy act of whatever city that you're living in. As part of the screening process, when you find that right roommate, you're going to want to have formal documentation, things like letters of employment. You're going to want to check their credit score just to make sure that they can pay you every single month. That brings me to today's tweetable. Roommates can be a good financial decision as long as it doesn't negatively impact your happiness. At the end of the day, you only have one life to live. So you want to make sure that you're happy. 
So here's my challenge to you. If you've decided that a roommate is the right way for you to go, I want you to think about what are the elements that you need in that roommate that's gonna make this a good and happy lifestyle decision for you. And then when you put out an ad, include those in the ad. Say that you want someone who's clean or quiet or goes to bed early. It's okay to go ahead and do that. At the end of the day, this might just be a temporary situation to generate a little bit extra income for another area of your life that you really want to indulge in a little bit further. Leave a comment below letting me know if you've ever had a roommate and what that experience has been like. Did you like this video? Did you learn something? Subscribe to my channel because it's free and share it with your friends. And if you want even more tips and tricks to make your finances fun and exciting, come on over to leemore.money and sign up for email updates. Remember, I'm not here to change who you are or how you live your life. I just have strategies to make you even more financially fabulous. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Till then, stay fabulous. Okay, so this person leaves their clothes on the floor. Ugh. This person, oh, they want to borrow my clothes. Ugh. This person likes to cook. Ooh, that could be a good one. I think this is the one.